Hey guys, it's Dave here with Elite Real Estate Coaching and Training, and I am super excited to be talking to this guy today on our Conversations with Coach series. I'm here with my good friend, Zachary Salazar East, and dude, thank you for agreeing to do this. This is super dude, cool. Thank man. you for having me. Oh, thank no, you so man. much. This is, this is going to be a really special interview for me because Zach is relatively new to the business, and and what he's accomplished in a pretty short time is pretty darn amazing. So why don't we just start with some basic stuff? How long have you been selling real estate? So I have been doing real estate for just a few months under two years. So okay. not even two years yet. Awesome. Yep. And, and, and what did you do before you decided to become a real estate agent? So um, directly before I became a real estate agent, I was stocking shelves at Aldi. So I was just that get up in the morning, unload the truck, loading on groceries. Um, and I loved it. The reason I got into that job was because I had a lot of sales jobs before that. And I just never thought I was getting paid what I was worth. So I finally was like, you know what? I just want to do a job where there's no expectations. I know my worth. I know I can go in, go do my job and go home. So you kind of just take this job, pull back from the sales world, yeah. take this job, you know, doing this thing at the grocery store and regroup your mind and kind of refocus your energy. Yep. Then why real estate? Like why, why did you say, okay, I'm done with that. I'm going to become a real estate agent. Yeah. So um, my wife gets pregnant and she is like, you know, maybe th three or four months into pregnancy and I'm, I'm working two jobs, really I'm working three jobs at the time. And I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to make this work. Like, when am I going to actually even get to spend time with my own baby? Yeah. And I'm like, something's got to change. Something has to, to, to change. So um, I was like, you know what? People have told me to try real estate a dozen times. And every time I just say, no, I don't know, you know. And I'm like, let's do it. I believe in myself. I believe in my why. I, I think I can do this. And so and, I tried and, it. And your path wasn't easy. Like no. you, you've shared with me some of that journey because it, you kind of had some struggles getting that real estate license. You, can can you share about yeah, that with us? Definitely. So um, studied for the test, got it done. You know, as my wife is is getting real close to you know having this baby, it's time for me to take this test. So take the test. Um, I fail it. I, I take. I sign up as soon as I get home. Take it again. You know, a week later, fail it again. Take it again. I fail it again. And so on the third time me failing it, now we're like, you know, a week or two out from having this baby. And I'm like, I don't, I don't think we need to do this right now. I think I need to put this on the back burner. Let's wait a few weeks or a few months and then I'll give it another go. It'll be fine. And my wife was like, no, absolutely not. You're going to go back in that office. We're going to make some more flashcards. We're going to keep I'm getting emotional because it's yeah. so powerful, you know, and uh, to have somebody believe in you that much is really special, that you know, special. and uh, just that refusal to, to let me quit on myself. Um, and, and to have that support behind you because this isn't an easy business. I mean, it, yeah. it, uh, you and I both know that 80% of the people who try right. to do what you do don't make it. We have an 80% failure rate as an industry. And it can beat you up, and it can be hard. And to yeah. have that amazing support at home, believing in you, and kind of coaching you on, and pumping you up, and giving you the the courage to go back out and try one more time, and then you you made it. I did it. Yeah, I did it. And it wasn't, you know, I think even that part of that journey was like, all right, now it's time. I'm going to give it everything I got. You know, the to, I think I always think about what people have sacrificed for me to be where I'm at right now. So I think about the sacrifices I've made, my wife, my kid, my dad, his, his parents, my mom's parents, like all these, you know, sacrifices. So I carry that weight with me as I start this new journey. And, you know, my numbers show that I've done pretty good. Yeah, and you've it, done great. So let's really go fun. there. Let's go there. Yeah. Let's talk about your numbers. So you get your real estate license, you pick a brokerage, you, you go and you hang your shingle. Okay, I'm a real estate agent. How long until you got your first client? Um, it was three weeks. It was under a month. Okay. Um, so I'm a sponge and, I, and I'm big on, you know, I think if you're going to start something new, you need to very quickly go 
to the best people that you can find around there and see what they'll give you. And right. so that's what I did. I was going around to all these different people, seeing what they would give me the top. Oh, they're the top. Oh, let me go talk with them. And one thing they all had in common was they were all using Zillow. Okay. But none of them were really bragging about it, but they were all talking about how that was one piece of their business. So I'm like, okay, so that needs to be a piece of my business. But they all talked about how expensive it was. Right. And, you know, you, I don't know. It's really not, not plausible. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to see what. So I made the call and, um, you know, got started on one zip code. And, and that's, a, again, that's a very courageous yeah. move on your part because most people wouldn't spend that kind of money early on. They just went to real estate school. They're sacrificing time away from their family. They got to pay to join the board, join the MLS, buy business. All these expenses are coming. And you just take one more leap of faith. You say, I'm, I'm going yeah. I'm to spend this money and buy leads from Zillow. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like what you're saying. That's fear. You know, that fear of, well, I'm spending all that. And it's like, but I don't even know. I knew. I knew I was going to make a sale. I knew that I would not fail. I knew that. So these things that creep into agents' mind and they let defeat them, let them not pull that trigger, let them not. It's that fear of, well, I don't know if I'm going to get a sale. I always knew. I always knew that I would be good at this. Right. If, But I knew I had to give it everything I, I had. And, and so that first year yeah what kind of, tell us about the success the first year and then let's talk about your success this last year yes so i got some numbers here i got them written <laughs> down um because it's it is hard to remember all this but um my first year totals um were 42 transactions yeah okay in your first year in the business you yeah. sell 42 homes yes sir and the average realtor sells, and I'm not talking average first year realtor. I'm talking the average of all the realtors, experience, inexperience, are selling five or six, and you just explode with 42 transactions. Yes. And what kind of what kind of volume was that production wise? So GCI that was 252,000. Wow. Yeah. And and how much more money was that than you were making at all these? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Two hundred and forty-three thousand. <laughs> it was a lot more. A lot more. How's that? How has that changed your life, Zach? Oh, completely. I mean, it, it, I oftentimes, even as I was getting these numbers down, I'm like, I've only been doing this for two years. I haven't even done this for two years. I mean, it blows my mind, and I have to constantly bring myself back to reality. Um, the other day, I was like, you have an admin that works for you every day. Yeah. So Look at your life. I, I, I want to go what, there too, right? What so, is going on? Again, because you're taking, th th this is one of the things I love about this guy. He's just bold and courageous, and, and but not reckless. At some point in the middle of your first year in selling real estate, you said, I'm going to hire an admin. Yeah. Like, what was that trigger? Like, why did you say, okay, I need help? So it was so much fun. I remember... Um, you know, making that first client through Zillow, and it was, I was the yes man. I'm like, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. Made that first client, and then um, got them under contract, got my parents under contract. Thank you, mom and dad, for, for watching. <laughs> um, awesome. Super happy to help them. And then the floodgates opened. And it, the next month, so that was two, and then the next month I had three, and the next month I had six. And it's like November now. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Everybody said it was gonna slow down during this time. I've got way more business than I can Wait handle. Wait a second, you stayed busy through yeah. the holiday period? <laughs> right, it was crazy. So I thought, you have to get an admin. And I was like, when? Yesterday. And so I'm like, okay, great, I need to do this right now. Right. Um, so yeah, I mean, it just, things just exploded in front of my own eyes from the work that I was doing, and uh, I just had to. And then from, so you bring in an admin, yep. uh, you get her trained, and if you have met his admin, she's an absolute rock star. Like, I mean, every real estate agent should have an, a Shannon in their life. Yes. Right? Uh, and you get her trained. And how has having an admin changed or helped your business evolve? It has completely changed uh, the way um, that, that I can run. I always like to tell people I like to run really fast. Um, and really, I, sh I, I can't even make it like that because I'm driving a car now with Shannon. Or I'm in a train, you know. Where before, like a, when you're just by yourself, running is about all you're going to do, you know. And most of the time you're walking or jogging. So to be able to, you know, utilize her, it takes my efficiency 
way up. You know, I'm not I'm not going at 10 miles per hour. I'm going at 100 miles per hour. That's so nice. my efficiency, the systems I have in place, it it, it totally changed my game. Cool. Yeah. So the admin enables you to run at just a much faster pace. Yeah. And then at some point you you go, okay, well, if having me and an admin's enough, I'm going to add some players. Yeah. What, what, what triggered that? Then it's the time, right? And so, you know, I'm doing really well. Um, you know, my clients are taken care of. You know, my admin's taken care of. And I'm like, I need, I really got into this because I want more time with my family. So how do I now create, um, you know, the same income or more, but being able to buy back, if you will, hours of the day with right. my daughter and my wife. So I was like, I need a team. I need to be able to have somebody that I can say, hey, I can't take this appointment right now. I can't take this call right now. I need you to do it for me. Somebody that I could put under my wing and teach everything that I've learned. Um, but I was really put off by it at first because I had seen so many other teams and how they lead, and I wanted nothing to do with that. I wanted, I wanted no part of that. Um, but then I was able to shift my mindset to, but it doesn't have to be like that. You can rewrite the book on what it's like to run a team and you don't have to lead with greed. You can lead with love. And so totally just started buying into it more and more and more. And, and, uh, it's been hard, but I'm really grateful that I've done it. It's a process too. And I'm learning. Um, but man, we have got an awesome Royal home team right now and just, the greatest service in the world. I'm so happy. <laughs> and, and the team now consists of? Three. Three? Yep. So. so two agents, my admin, and then me. So that'd be four. So you have yep. a four-person team, yep. and you're not even finished with your second year in the business. Yeah, I know. That's, that <laughs> it just amazes me, man. Yeah. Um, so if, as you sit back and you look at your business, how important is social media for you? I mean, is it an important part? Is it a small part? Like, what's role to social it's really media? It's really important. Okay. It's really important. Um, it's, a, it's an amazing reach uh, that I have for my people. I've built up, thankfully, over you know the last 10 years or so, an amazing Facebook page, personal Facebook page. Um, and I touch a soft touch hundreds of people a day through Facebook because I utilize Facebook stories. Um, and this is something that I started probably about a year ago. But I kind of play this game with myself where how long can I keep the streak going? Because on Facebook stories, it expires, right? So after 24 hours, that slide expires. So the goal is to never let it die out. That before you let that last one expire, you already have another one behind it. And you're just peeking into that agent's life. Well, I get I have that built up now to where I let hundreds of viewers check in on my story every single day. So when you do when you say your story, what yeah. kind of content is in the story? Yes, so um, it's got to be very um, organic content that is what is a day in the life of Zachary Salazar E. So you know in the morning maybe it's me making my coffee and you know looking over the MLS. Then it's me spending some time with my daughter. I also keep, teach kids jujitsu, so it's got some jujitsu in there. Then me at the office, making CMAs, going on showing. So all the things. It can't just be one thing because then people don't want to watch it. So um, it really yeah. is like kind of like you know a reality TV show, if you will, but with, little in little clips, like yeah. little, little snips of what it's like to be Zach for the day. Yeah, and the results on that are, I would say, probably once a week I get a reply from it that says, Hey, we're we're looking to buy a home. Can you help us? Or they see a home that they really like that I post, and they go, "Where is this? What's the price range?" My dad's looking to sell. You you um, had a really cool thing that you were doing over the holidays, and you know when we were visiting and you were talking about that, you shared how important it was for you as an individual to give back to the community. Where, where you work, where you live, where you go to the grocery store and where you eat and all that stuff. And so you came out uh, with a really great idea and your execution was awesome. Tell us about that. Yes, yeah, so um, I did a 12 days of giveaways where every day we featured a different local business and promoted them. We made a professional video for them um, and they had to give away something really cool. It couldn't just be like a $10 gift card. It had to be something $50 in value or more 
And we worked with a variety of different businesses that I plan on continuing to work with throughout the year. Um, and just, yeah, uplifting that community. And it was one of the most fun things I've ever done in, in this career so far. I love this city so much. I love Kansas City, you know, and so I wear that on my chest. I wear that on my logo for my team. Um, it's so important to me. So like to be able to give back to some of these local business owners just like me was very impactful. I mean, there were times where I'm leaving this stuff in tears because I can't believe what kind of effect it had on this small business owner. So really special stuff to tap into your community. Um, yeah, really cool. Now, from a lead generation standpoint, obviously that's really highly effective of, of making sure people know who you are. And obviously we're, we're doing the Zillow thing and that's a big part of your business. Yep. But you also use open houses as a way to generate mm -hmm. business. And, you know, we were in a class today and you were there and I talked about the, you know, the song by Joan Jett, Bad Reputation. And it was kind of funny because uh, open houses with a lot of veteran real estate agents really do have a bad reputation. And, and I feel like it's not earned or deserved. I think open houses are amazing and we've seen the results of some of our agents that really lean into it. But you take open houses to a whole new level. Tell us about that. <laughs> You know, um, I really pride myself on that, on that whole new level. That is really the kind of agent, kind of team person that I want to be. So naturally, everything I do, I want it to be that next step above the rest. So open houses for, for us is, um, it's a whole week long prep work. So finding out the right open house to go to um, is very important. And then marketing it all week long. Um, and then for us, we're really big on open houses on Friday. So Friday night, open house five to seven. Um, and so out Thursday, the day before that, I'm knocking the whole neighborhood, trying to get signs in the ground. And we do 20. So we do it no, no less than 20 signs. 20 signs yeah. for a single open house. Yes. That's yep. awesome. And we start at the major highway. So a lot of people will start on the street right outside that neighborhood. We're going all the way to the highway. I know it's wild, but I'll throw a sign right there as you're exiting off that big highway. And then I'm going to sprinkle some more into the neighborhood. And then the neighborhood is lit up with yeah. just all kinds of signs. And I don't put a sign in the ground in somebody's yard without knocking the door. And so um, when I'm doing these neighborhood knocks, um, they answer the door. I give them a thank you card for letting me put a sign in their yard. Um, and then they open that thank you card up. It's a handwritten note. There's a $2 bill taped to the top of it. And it's just a really nice um, touch, I think. That's so, a great touch. And yeah. it opens the door to yet another new relationship. Yeah, exactly. So speaking of relationships, uh, do you use a CRM, something to, to manage all the names and phone numbers and email addresses that you've, because I'm guessing with that kind of activity, you're meeting tons and tons of people. So. Yes, yes. So we use um, KV Core. We love it. Um, it's been a really, really cool tool. I still don't even know the full extent to it because there's so much that you can use it for. Right. But, um, dude, I got to say, I mean, I just now seriously started using a CRM in the last six months. The first, you know, year of my career, I wasn't. I was, it was just like my own, like, man made database. And wow. I just can't believe that, you know. It's hard to think not using it now. So, cool. so that's that's another piece in the evolution of the Royal Home Team yeah. is that the idea of first we're just going to be an entrepreneur. We're going to go out there. We're going to knock on doors. We're going to meet people. We're going to hold open houses. We're going to buy Zillow leads. But now, as a business owner, you're evolving to say, okay, what do we do with all the people that we've met that aren't needing our services right this minute? And you've put them in the CRM, and you're being more intentional with staying in touch with them now, right? Yes. Very yep. very cool. Yep. Um, tell me about your, your day or how you manage your day or how do you manage your calendar? Cause uh, I know that you, Oh, you I, want the secret sauce. Yeah. Like that's a <laughs> lie. So no, but it's a, but, but I talk yeah. to a lot of real estate agents and one of their struggles is finding balance. Yeah. Always feeling like they're pulling their hair out, running around, you know, like a crazy person. And I don't sense that from you. I sense it. A guy who's pretty methodical in his approach to mm -hmm. his day, but your day starts pretty early. Yes, it does. Yeah. So tell us about that. Yeah. So um, I do the same thing every day. And I think that is 
the biggest, you know, of all the things that I'm going to say about this, like that is the biggest takeaway is what, one, what do you need to do every day? And then how can you find a way to do that every single day? I had, you know, when I first got started, people ask me like, oh, what do you do? What do you do? And I'm like, I'm just doing the same thing every day. I'm not doing that much, probably the same stuff as you, but I'm not missing a day where I don't do it. Gotcha. Right. And that's that that's consistency. That, yeah, yes. So that um, 5 a.m. in the morning is when I get up. Um, mm-hmm. And that's because I like getting up before the rest of the world. You know, uh, everybody has an edge. OK, this is my edge is I'm up before you. I'm up. I'm getting my my wins in early so I can have an amazing day. I think that um, winning is a formula, not necessarily just like, oh, I got lucky. I won today. I win every day, but that's because of the formula I put in place. So in the morning, I start out with a workout, right? 5 a.m., get up, put my clothes on, workout. Um, Then I jump into some meditation for 20 minutes, some reflection, and then some some learning. So I do, you know, either I practice my Spanish or I read a book. Then I start my day. So I have this little power hour of wins. And your day starts, your actual work day starts pretty early too. Most days you're in the office by about what time? Um, 8.30, 9 a.m. So you're hitting the the ground running with your day. And and again, do you use a uh, calendar system? Yes. Tell us what what do you use? So I live and die by my calendar. I mean, it is extremely detailed and and I use it in conjunction with my admin. I mean, she is on it. She knows that if I, you know, said I was going to do something that it's got to be in my calendar. And I just, I mean, I, I'm going to an appointment. I click my calendar, I push a button. It takes me to where I need to go. Right. Um, for every single showing for every part of my calendar. And you've really, and uh, this is super powerful for those of you who are thinking about getting an admin, the thing that really is impressive about watching Zach and his admin's name is Shannon, and Shannon work together is you've empowered her. You've given her the authority to tell you, hey, you got to go. Yeah. It's time for you to do this. And in some ways, even though uh, you're the team leader, she's tasked with keeping you on task. Yes, absolutely. And I think that um, that's how it should be. I don't see how it would work another way where it's just me telling her everything to do and and I need to manage myself. I brought you on because I also need help managing all this chaos that I have around me. Um, I have friends in real estate who also have admins and I get on them all the time where I'm like, why, like, how did you, why were you late to that appointment? Somebody should have made sure that you were on time or wasn't that in your calendar and things slipped through the cracks. And it's just because they're not empowering their help to, to help them more. Oh, you know? absolutely. So like, yeah. that, that whole, Hey, you gotta be, you gotta go. Let's do this. Thing. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty good. special to watch. If you were, uh, giving advice to somebody who's watching the video and either they're thinking about getting into real estate or they're new to real estate or maybe they're been around for several years and they're not having the kind of success you're having because not everybody does. Um, what, what do you think advice wise would be the best advice to give somebody who's just not crushing it and achieving their goals or uh, living the life that, that they claim they want? Like, mm-hmm. What is the advice you would give them? Oh, I got two. Can I share two? Uh, dude, share okay, away, good. man. I love talking about my momentum train. And it's, it's this train that is very heavy, right? And, and, it, and it's going really fast for me right now. But when I first started... It, it wasn't moving at all, you know, and I luckily got a very quick start. So I'm shoveling coal in it like crazy right off the get go. Steam's billowing out and I'm, I'm taking off. I'm slowly starting to take off. Well, what happened was um, about six months me getting into the business, I quit putting coal in. Okay. And I slowly came to a halt, which is very bad because now I need to put twice the amount of coal in in order to get this to even go to one mile per hour, then I can start thinking about getting it back up to top speed. So if I could give you an advice as somebody who's new, or maybe you're a veteran that you've kind of stopped putting coal in your momentum train, um, you got to get that thing going. You got to get it going right now. I mean, it's so important and do not stop. I mean, so that was my first year. This last year, um, I did not do that. I, you know, winter came along and I never stopped 
putting coal in. Now, in fact, I've got other people also shoveling coal in. So now we're all putting coal in this train and it is really taking off. It's about to go off the rails, I hope, <laughs> you know? So um, that's really cool. And, and I'd love to, to share that with people like, just keep going, do not stop. And uh, nothing, you know, beats relentless efforts. Um, so, And it's having the courage to not be great because when you started in the business, I mean, three weeks in, get your first client. You don't yeah. know what you're doing. No. You're clueless. Yes. And and you just had the courage to go out and and it was okay if you didn't have all the answers. I'm just going to do my best. Yes. I think a lot of real estate agents get stuck in the I don't know enough yet mm. versus that I'm just going to courageously go out and do this thing. I mean, I was totally the ready, fire, aim guy. I, I, I didn't care if I missed that target 20 times. I was going to shoot all my arrows. Whatever I could get, I was going to shoot. And I think a lot of people take too much time getting the arrow out, they inspect it, they put it on the bow, it falls off. They're like, okay, let me, I'm over here just like, let's, I'm shooting like crazy. <laughs> I'm like, let's take as many shots as we can because every time I missed, I learned something that helped me align it a little bit better. Because yeah, um, we learn so, by trying and not being yeah, amazing, right? Totally, yes, and, yes. And, and I think that's a, a real cool piece that you're sharing with folks and that is, it's okay not to be perfect. It's yeah. okay not to have it right from the very beginning. Just courageously go out there and try yeah. and learn from every mistake, which is kind of counterintuitive with what society tells us sure. to do. Because they're like, oh, you messed up. You're a failure. And right. You're like, no, you just kind of lean into it. I, yeah. I, you know, when you're shooting arrows like that, you know you're going to make. I'm, I'm looking for the miss so I can see, okay, how can I pick myself back up and, and get right back on that, you That's know, awesome. finer target. What was the second piece? So one more thing I want to share is this quote that has really uh, meant a lot to me lately, and it's from Maya Angelou, and it's, um, people will remember you not for what you say and not for what you do, but how you make them feel. Oh. And that is so powerful to me. And that is such a statement of what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to teach my team to do that they really don't care what you say. They really don't care what you're doing. What they care is how you made them feel during that whole process, how, they made, how you made them feel as they were leaving that appointment. Were they leaving going, man, that was an amazing experience. Are they leaving going, eh? It was cool. I mean, he told us some cool stuff, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, really nothing, powerful quote. There's nothing inspirational there, right? You got what? Yeah. So, in a world like here in Kansas City, we have you know 11,000 real estate agents, and I get the feeling like working with Zach would be a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, and I think there's it, is the the series of these interviews that I've done. That's one of my big ahas is that the agents that are doing really really well achieving their goals, you get the feeling like they're a lot of fun to be around. Like they're mm. really enjoyable. And it's not that, you know, everybody's super animated, but that there's an energy and a kind of a positive outlook. And that because of that energy and that positivity, you just attract other people who feel that from you. And then they want, they want your help. I mean, if you were about to make the biggest investment of your life, are you going to want to work with somebody who is emulating this energy of, you know, I, like I just said, I win every single day. I'm winning all the time. That's the kind of person that you want yeah. looking out for your best interest, you know, instead of the, oh, I'm not really sure if I'm ready for this. I'm not so sure, you know, that I'm ready to take my shot, you know, just take it, give it your best, you know, be yourself and, awesome. and people will be raging fans of you. And if they're not, that's okay. You know, I tell my agents that all the time. Like, you're going to meet people that, you know, no matter how hard you try it, they're just not picking up what you're putting down. And then you're going to meet people that are raging David Nichols fans. And they're, those are the people you're going to want to work with, you know, yeah. because they see you who, for who you are. That's powerful stuff right yeah. there. Just being genuine and real to who you are. And you're yeah. going to attract people who are attracted to that. Yes. Which is awesome. So for the, there's some people who watch this video uh, in our series of coaching videos that are not from Kansas City, but they may be real estate agents in other cities, and maybe they're looking for a great referral partner. Uh, so I want to introduce you guys to, to my friend Zach. So uh, tell, tell us a little bit about the areas that you service yep. uh, for those who don't know our area, uh, and then tell people how to get in touch with you. 
Um, so again, my name is Zachary Salazar East. I um, work for Kansas City, Missouri and Kansas um, area. Um, my phone number is 816-878-5812. And I would be happy to talk with you. Um, I'd be happy to talk with your clients. But if you're an agent that's watching this and you're like, I wonder if he would share some of that. Yes. Yes, I would. So if you're serious and you want some of you know, what I can offer, I would love uh, for you to call me. So call me, text me. I want to help. I want to, yeah, I want to help. So please. And, and let, <laughs> let that sink in for those of you who are watching this. Uh, what, what this amazing human being just said to you was, if you're an agent and you want to know about his secret sauce, if you want to pick his brain, if you want to talk to him about his successes and failures and what's working and what's not working, this amazing human being is, is an open book, and that's a culture of abundance. That's a mindset of sharing, and I am so appreciative that you would offer that to those viewers who would watch our stuff. And It's a no-brainer. Yeah, and then for if you're in the Kansas City market and you need an amazing agent, man, this guy is Please. Uh, super, super I'd awesome. I'd love to work with him. Uh, brother, I truly appreciate this. Any, any last words you want to share with our viewers? Oh, man, just... Love what you do. Keep your why right on your chest all the time. Continue to remember who you are, why you're here, and uh, you'll never go wrong. I love it. I love what I do. I'm so and, grateful. And it shows, man. Thank it's you. So obvious in your day. You know, when when I see you, I'm. It's, you're always smiling. You're always got a good attitude. You're always willing to help and give of your time and and your knowledge and your energy. And it's Thank greatly you. appreciated. As Thank you. As as your broker here, uh, guys. I, I hope you like our videos. Uh, we've got a whole series of these conversations with coach videos is what we're calling them uh, that are going to be dropping and they're kind of special additions to the to the coaching channel. If you have not done so, man, do me a favor. Go ahead and click that subscribe button so you uh, know when we're dropping more videos. And if you liked my video here with Zach, give it that thumbs up there. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll be in touch soon. 